Every time we go into an air battle, we choose to use certain ammunition belts, and it's not always clear whether we make the right choice, especially given the fact that there are loads of different belt types in the game. Let's settle this issue once and for all, and answer three simple questions. What types of ammunition belts exist? What do they do? And which ones should we choose? Let's get ourselves an aircraft with access to many belt types and take a good look at its ammunition options. The first belt is the basic one. What do we have inside? This blue shell is an incendiary tracer. The grey one is an armor-piercing shell. And the yellow one is a high-explosive incendiary. That means that this belt has a little bit of everything. You have tracers that make aiming easier, AP shells that, well, pierce armor, and high-explosive incendiary shells that break enemy aircraft apart and set them on fire. This belt doesn't excel at anything and isn't terribly effective, but it does a decent job of teaching a novice pilot how to shoot. Then we have universal ammunition. It contains two yellow HEIs that we are already familiar with, a red armor-piercing incendiary, or API, and a blue incendiary tracer. As the name suggests, this belt is also for jacks of all trades, but is certainly combat-worthy. It's a great pick when you don't know what types of enemies you're going to encounter, as it can carry you through most combat situations. The third belt is for air targets. You get a combination of four Minengeschoss shells. This is the excellent German HEI shell that you've already seen. One incendiary tracer and one API shell. This belt makes short work of enemy aircraft, but is nigh useless against heavily armored targets. The armored target's ammunition contains three gray AP shells and one incendiary tracer. Armored target's belt is almost always your highest penetrating belt, which makes it an ideal choice for hunting ground targets or well-armored aircraft like the IL-2M. The fifth belt type is tracer ammunition. It contains three yellow fragmentation incendiary tracers and two familiar blue incendiary tracers. Rather unusual, right? Actually, it's a great belt for fighting at long range, because it allows you to see where your shots are traveling rather easily, and, with some lead and adjustments, to hit targets which are just a speck on the horizon. Then there is the sixth common type, stealth ammunition. Inside we see three yellow Minengeschoss shells, a grey AP shell, and a red incendiary shell. This belt is rather special. As you see, it doesn't contain a single tracer round. Why would anybody want a belt without tracers, a novice pilot might ask? What's the point of using this belt if the bullets fired cannot be seen? The thing is, tracers do actually have a number of flaws. First, the round's ballistics are less than ideal. Even in arcade, you have to aim a bit lower than the target when shooting with a tracer at long distances to make it connect. Second, your enemy isn't blind. He or she can see your traces as well, and that allows the enemy pilots to immediately understand which direction they're being shot from, and effectively counter your evasion maneuvers when they retaliate. Moreover, when attacking head-on, your own traces will make it harder for you to see the target. Of course, it takes some time and effort to master the stealth belt, but it gives you enough edge to make it well worth it. It won't be long before you notice a big difference in your combat effectiveness. Okay, that's it for the common ammunition types. It's time we return to the main question of this video, which belt should we use? The most obvious on-the-nose answer is that it depends on your tactical function. What prey are you going to hunt? Enemy aircraft? Use air targets ammunition. Your priority targets are enemy ground vehicles? Get yourself an armored targets belt then. Want to do everything or just not sure what way the fight will go? Universal belt is your answer, and pilots making frequent use of stealth ammunition probably know really well what they're doing and why, and don't need any advice from a video on the net. But there are loads of different belt variations containing all sorts of rounds, and while popular models of machine guns usually come with access to a wide array of ammunition options, 
A cannon of big enough caliber will most probably allow you only the choice between a few belt variations containing only AP or HE shells in different ratios. What should one do then? The most helpful piece of advice here is to prioritize looking at the contents of the belt and not the name. When getting ready to fight aerial targets, look for belts with lots of blue and yellow rounds, incendiary tracers and high explosive ones. Get AP rounds, the grey ones, for your turrets. This will make it easier for them to punch through armored glass of cockpits and of aircraft on your tail. And if there is no air targets belt, do not despair. Take a good look at the ground targets one. They often contain a lot of HE shells, which work wonders when shot at enemy aircraft. And of course, you don't have to test all of this in real combat conditions. Why take the risk? Find a minute or two to test the performance of different belts and shells in test flight, as there won't be any pressure from either allies or enemies. This is the perfect environment to test all the weird loadouts and take all the crazy shots. <laughs> Have fun and good luck.